Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have learned about the types of automated tests that are present in the JavaScript we have seen. Now, in this video, we will learn about the different types of unit tests that are available in the Angular. So here we are we are trying to say that we are seeing what are the different types of unit tests that are available in the Angular. Let's try to see. It. The first one is isolated tests. So this is the basic unit test in the Angular. So normally the unit test what we have seen previously, the definition of the unit test is nothing but in Angular we can say it is nothing but an isolated test itself. Normally we have learned the unit test is nothing but is testing a single unit of code, right? So in the same scenario, the isolated test is also same thing like that only. This is what we think of an unit test. A unit might contain business logic that needs to be tested in isolation. So unit means nothing but a separate piece of code. It may be a single class or maybe a function, not anything. So that need to be tested in isolation. That means if it doesn't have any dependencies or anything, so if it doesn't have anything isolated, if it is separated from all the dependencies and all those things means, so we can tell that one is an isolated unit test. So normally, now you may be understood that so what are the units what we can say is what are the units that comes under the isolated test in angular there are few angular units that can be tested in isolation isolation means which are free from other dependencies first one is in pipe so we can say that we can we can say that when we are trying to test this pipe it is an isolated unit test service we can do the service class component and directives these are all the units we can test we can tell it as an isolation unit test the test what we are writing, we can tell it as an isolation unit test. In isolation, we always should mock our dependencies. Why? Because, so why I am telling you that in service, we can have an, we can inject another service as a dependency. In a class, we can, we can inject another class as a dependency. In component also, we will be injecting the services or anything. In service, we will be doing the HTTP. These are all the things we will be injecting as a dependencies. So now we already have understood that isolation means it should be free from all the dependencies so for example if you are trying to test a component so now it is depending on another services or anything means so it should be free from the dependencies right so that's why those dependencies we should mock those things so if you want to know about the mock and all those things i have already explained you in the jasmine complete course tutorial so there you can see about this mocking and spying and stop and all those things okay otherwise it is in isolation anymore so if you cannot mock your dependencies for a component, so then we cannot say that it is an isolation unit test. Okay. In isolated unit testing, we don't test that template. So this is the main thing. Why? Because if you take the component, so I already told you that isolated unit test means, so we are testing a single unit. That means a class or something, a function or something like that. Now, if you take a component, the component consists of what I can say, a ts file logic file and also a template html file now these are two units again so that is the reason in isolated unit test we cannot we wish we will not test the template parts for a component only the uh, only the logic behind it only we will be testing so logic means only the ts file in this test we test all the methods that have the expected behavior now the second one is an integration test so this is the integration test so isolated unit test you, you are able to understand right so we will be check we will be testing the logic for that one in integration test is a bit more complex in the normally it is a bit more complex so now we need to define in angular which comes under integration test and which comes under the isolation unit test in angular in angular in integration test we actually create a module that we are going to test okay so normally we will create a module that we are going to test why because integration test is nothing but uh, is nothing itself we will be testing one or more units that means one or more components or one or more services so which depends on another thing so that means so we if you are depending on another components or anything means we should be we should be included in a module so that is the reason so create we will create a module and we will test it normally there are two types of integration tests so this is also one type of thing we need to understand in integration tests still uh, there are again two types so normally uh, outside if you try to read what they will be trying to tell is so integration tests will not be divided into two types so they will be telling that shallow unit test as a separate one and deep in, deep test will be converted into an integration test okay they will be telling like that so any there is okay so but we will be having two types of integration tests that is one is the shallow unit testing and another one is a deep integration testing 
some people will make it shallow unit testing as a separate unit testing so they will tell it as three types of three types are there in angular unit testing something like isolated shallow unit test and integration test they will tell but we will take isolated unit test and integration test and again in the integration test we can tell it as shallow unit testing and deep integration testing anything is okay fine so first we need to know about this shallow unit testing okay what is this shallow unit testing in shallow unit test we only test a single component with its template okay so here again we are divide, we are we are having two units so that is the reason i have categorized uh, instead of making this shallow unit test as a separate category i have made it sub category into the unit integration test that is the reason some people make it as a separate category something like isolated shallow unit test and integration test they will tell like that but we'll learn it like this any, anyway any anything is okay for us in shallow unit test we only test a single component with its template okay so we'll test the component with its template now another one is a deep integration test normally we'll say it, we can say it as integration test itself in deep integration test we test many components actually having child components so if you want if you are having many if you want to test many components one or more components at a time means we use the deep integration test something like what i was saying sometimes we get a scenario to test both the parent and the child component so normally we will be having like this right so we will have a parent component and inside this one we will have a child component like this we will have a child component now we will, sometimes we get a scenario that we need to test the parent component as well as the child component like that so the, if you want to do those things means we will call it as a deep integration test or a normal integration test also we can say so this is the scenario you can also say that service you have a service so normally if you if it if it doesn't depend depend it is not dependent on any other service or any other thing means so we can say that it is an isolated unit test but it is dependent on another service or anything so if you want to do means then it comes under the deep integration test so like this we can say so now before continuing this unit testing now you understood what are the different types of te unit testing available in angular so one is the isolated unit test shallow unit testing and another one is the deep integration testing so these are the three things deep integration as i already told you deep integration testing means some in some articles or anything you can uh, you can see that deep integration testing is nothing but integration testing shallow unit testing is a separate category and isolated unit testing is a separate category so these are the three categories you will be seeing in some articles some articles they will be telling that isolated unit testing and integration testing again sub category like shallow unit testing and deep integration testing like this they will be saying but all are one and the same itself now before understanding before uh, before continuing about this unit testing and all those things is another important concept we need to understand is mocking so why because in isolated unit test i already told you that if a component is dependent on any other services or anything and if you want to do the isolated unit testing and all those things means you need to do the mocking as and i already told you if you want to learn more about the mocking and all those things you can see my jasmine tutorial so just i will try to explain you briefly mocking is very useful when we want to test single unit of code as i already told you isolated unit test when we are doing this isolated unit test we will be using this mocking so the most of the time class does not operate in isolation so we already know that most of the time so most of the project and all those things so component if you are having miss it will not be isolated so most classes or components have the dependencies so normally we will have come if a component is there miss we have a dependencies like activated route uh, services and all those things we have a dependencies as usual for the class also for the services and all those things also we have a dependencies okay so now so for this type of uh, so these all dependencies we need to mock it we need to mock it so for the because of that reason so we will be using this mocking so we in mocking also we have a types of mocks that is nothing but dummy stubs and spice so dummy means nothing but we will create a dummy class or some dummy a dependency dummy class or something like that a dummy object and this object will take care of that one instead of executing the real class or anything this dummy will execute stubs means it will take the control so we will create another class or something like that it will take the control kind of behavior spice means so it will it will it will spy on that uh, methods and how many times it has been called how many times that service has been called how many times that ha method has been called these are all the things we can uh, make sure by using this spice these are this normally i am telling you briefly so if you want to learn more about this one means you can as usual i already told you you can see my jasmine complete course i have done about the spice and all those things i have did it so this is the main thing so what we have learned in this one angular isolated unit test integration unit test and shallow unit test are the main important concepts that we have learned in this video hope you understood about these types of unit tests in angular if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you